to not illuminate all of the characters on the LCD display. So you can see that it's 20 something in here. The number two is still partially visible as is the date. And if you just touch the display slightly, the side of the five there comes and goes as do some of the other characters. interface to the edge of the display is um, been thermally cycled too much and some of the contacts are broken. The way these displays work is there's a driver chip on the back of the glass and that outputs the waveforms. Um, well, it's not on the back of the glass, it's not attached to the glass. It's on a circuit board mounted closely to the glass and there's a flexi connector around the end carries all of the lines and each segment has two wires going to it and if they're driven clocked in phase or out of phase determines whether you see it as a light or a dark segment. So I'm going to take apart the thermostat and see if we can gain any access into it and understand what's going on. CMS 927 the 1049 model wireless Honeywell firm Okay, 
going to set up on a glass here. So we can see as I move this flexi connector. Toaster. screen is looking quite cooked. Don't know if I went too far. I'll come back in a couple of minutes. Let's cool down now. The screen has returned mostly to this silver colour. It's lost its blackness. Apart from where the clamp is squeezing it, possibly too tight. on two sides to press the connector more onto the circuit board. Turn that tunnel so have I completely destroyed it? Progress, no progress, or partial progress. Well, there. <laughs> Looks like a full house. to rebox it and hopefully I don't break any other connections again. I don't know how possible this is going to be for both of us to be involved. Top edge. I wonder if that's popped it all off in an unsatisfying manner. Still good. Slidey worky. 
it. business. Thanks for watching.